It's uh, Friday, July 19th uh, on this beautiful sunny Coquitlam day in British Columbia. It's your faithful EV warrior here, Monty. And I'm here with my 2019 Tesla full self-drive car. And we are here to specifically test this little guy right here. This is an EV jet. It's a safety device invented by a company of the same name that is designed to go between the Tesla car and the Tesla supercharger to allow a disconnect in the event of an, of an emergency and a panic getaway. Um, should you be at a charging station and for whatever reasons you need to make a quick getaway, this allows you to do it without leaving the car. At least that is what the manufacturer claims and we shall be demonstrating that, hopefully successfully. You'll notice that it's got the same basic profile as the normal charger handle, uh, which you insert into the car. And uh, the two glaring metallic ones there, that's your high powered connections, because it's a DC big blast of energy that goes through. And the smaller ones that you can see there barely are actually communication wires. And this thing slips itself between the car and the charger and kind of hijacks that communication to trick the car into thinking that the charging has been completed and therefore you are free to leave. I demonstrated this before, um, made a video and it uh, I was unable to get it to work correctly. We have since learned what the problem was. I, I came to the Tesla station with just this. I left the uh, wonderful packaging behind and the inside the packaging, there is of course an instruction sheet that I did not have, which um, frankly, I, I, I found that to be a little bit uh, unintuitive in that there is a step where you unlock the charger port, which I didn't uh, would have wouldn't have intuitively figured out on my own too quickly. I thought you just put your foot in the brake, stick it in gear, away you go. But that's not the case. So we are going to do the proper procedure and see how well this device works. So with no further ado, we leave the charger or car. Uh, it is a bit of a busy spot here, but there are a few spaces open. I didn't want to waste uh, people's time or be that be that guy. So if there is empty spaces around me. It's not a full station. Um, here we go. We insert this thing into here, and then we. How's that work? No, no. <laughs> Learning curve. You take the charger handle from the charger. You insert it in. Then you click that, and you can see it locks in. That's part one of the um, process of getting this thing to work. So presently, my car is on charge. We can go inside the car and take a look at the screen here. And uh, we will see that I am indeed on charge. And uh, there's there's not a lot of charge required. There's only seven minutes remaining. Mind you, I came here with about an 85% charge battery. So that's not surprising. It would only be seven minutes of charging time. But here we are, okay, I'm gonna put my seatbelt on to keep this legal. And okay, there's uh, an intruder at my door. So what do we do? Um, we unlock charger port, I have done that. We stick the car into, and you know what, it's, it's acting properly. I am now in drive, ready to move and break away the handle. So here goes folks, woo, oh yeah, that broke. <laughs> I could, I should have pointed the camera at it. It was a bit of a spectacular, um, well, maybe spectacular is a strong word, but there was a bit of um, a, a bit of a performance there as it uh, broke. I could see another piece of metal actually that seemed to fly away from the car, um, which is part of the process. So as you can see, my car is undamaged. Oh, actually there's a piece of it left inside. Hmm. Better talk to the manufacturer about that because I don't want to reach in there and grab that. Otherwise, I can't charge my car. Um, left behind, of course, is there's one piece of it right there. And looking at this, I suppose I could just, with a pair of insulated pliers, I could remove the one from my car. But here it is, dangling on the ground. All kind of, you know, she, she's fractured. She's, I don't know if the light's so good here, but there we can see it. It's clearly damaged. It's clearly the eject device that's damaged, not, not the charger itself. So presumably, one would just remove that, and it did remove easily. And then, 
restore the handle. Oh, here we go. Restore 